on your fifth grand. Run it up, 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 count it up. Hey, hundreds and fifties and twenties, no fives and no singles, don't count on them. Hey, she want it like me, cause I blame she can't count on him. She try to be nosy and hit up my ex, she like, girl, you can count on him. Hey, hey, we need more, tell him we need more. Putting numbers on the board, let them keep a score. Hey, 16 cars in my front yard. Hey, 30 on my wrist, what a point to God. Big numbers, big numbers. Hundred minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. Home team got it, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. Hundred minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, blue hunts. Home team got it, that's a big number. S T R O. How many y'all came to win? Oh, they asking my name, huh? You ready? S-T-R-O, I ain't come to play with you. Yeah. Life challenging, but I wouldn't trade I wouldn't with you. Trade. It's early, I'm up. Yeah. I can't spend the day with you. I'm out of my business. Uh. I ain't getting paid with you. Nope. I come to bright. Yeah. I ain't finna fade with you. Man, I gotta come clean like I'm made with clean. you. I have been on my everybody drop when I drop. Yeah. Look at shorty, uh. she support uh. bra. Lifting up. Never not on my grind. New York City time. Another brother better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Bitch, you down the ride, never tired. You will never know. You ain't never tried. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hit the hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard. On the job, you can see that. On my head, it's real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the balloons. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the balloons. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the balloons. Yeah. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the shoe. In the case on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops. Oh, no, no, I can't be number two. MVP to leave most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I Wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, it's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Show don't stop, it's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my number retired, can't let these frauds beat us. I figured out the recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. Coach, thanks. Located appropriately for his career win total at 347 Don Shula Drive. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami, Florida. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the New York Jets. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Sacked there by Avery Williamson, the linebacker. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now a man who really stepped up last year. This is Matt Breida. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. But it looks like they caught him off guard on second and very long by running the football. All right, we always talk about tendency breakers and counters and doing things opposite the grain, and that worked very well for him. Picked up really nice yardage, but they still have a lot of work to do on third down. Hey, check Mike 57. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Picked by Pierre Desir. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. He was looking for Parker that time. Here we go, 
Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing. And as a player, that means an awful lot. They'll run here with a former Steeler. This is Le'Veon Bell. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Le'Veon Bell, his sixth touchdown of the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. On second down, a run with Breda. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Back to throw here. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They run for him with Breida. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. Rashad Perriman. 34 yards. And the Jets will extend their lead. Mar now to add the extra point. And it's good. And they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. 
attack. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Darnold from the gun. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Kyle Van Noy able to get him down behind the line of scrimmage, and it will be fourth down. The kick by Maher is good, and the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field goal. Please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A Miami first down. That one going for a gain of 11. 17-0 our score after one. Let's go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Check tight, check tight, check tight. Alert three, alert three. Let's go. They're going to look to throw. That'll be complete to Breda. And he's got Rome. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one goes for 30 yards for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. Back to throw now on first down. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Running out of the gun here, Brita. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Come to my Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. They'll drop the throw. He's going to go for it all. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Albert Wilson. His third touchdown now on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. The shotgun snap for Darnold. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Kyle Van Noy. He brought the pressure on the blitz, and he gets there for a loss of 12. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now Donald. 
Open man, Taylor Gabriel. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had a big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Donald. And that will be incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Handoff to Brita to begin the drive. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Wilson now in his second season in Miami. First four years were in Kansas City. He's always been a solid complimentary receiver, but Miami really hoping he can take the next step in his development, be more of a go-to guy now at 27 years of age. They're able to locate Wilson. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 32-yard line. This quarterback now, 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. They'll look to throw. Going to look deep for Wilson. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they topped 30. But one thing's for sure. They're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Matt Breida, his 11th touchdown of the year as his guys are back within a single score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half and fine style putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team... And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, 
on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will give him the lead here as we get on towards halftime. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something. I'm tr Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Darnold. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hey, Charlie. Mike, 55. Check, 55. Mike. To throw is Darnold. This one complete to Jordan Reed. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Here now, Brett Maher. He hit from 62 in his rookie season of 2018. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. 36, 36. Slam, slam. On the counter, here's Bell. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Again, it's Bell. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Hey, box drop, box drop. Hey, Mike, 51, Mike, 51. Oh, yes, 51 to Mike. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left. Roll him out, bootleg him. 
do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact that he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and line up and throw the football. Yeah, current formula is not working right now. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, got yeah. we, got the de we got the got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. 57. Mike, 57. Strip the ball. Zip He'll look to throw. And that's going to be intercepted. Jamal Adams with it. The all-pro safety. And now off to the races. Down the right side. And it's a touchdown for the Jets. So on now comes the Jets' offense as they're going to go for two here. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Hey, hey, watch this, watch this. Here we go, here we go. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he is not going to make it to the goal line. So the defense holds, and this remains a five-point game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. They'll begin the drive with Breda. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It's interesting, going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. What a boost for this offense that he can throw in a run like that after the success that he's had throwing the football. I love that, being able to mix in something a little bit different just when you're starting to think that's all you're going to see. He changed it up, flipped the script on him, and boy, did it work to his offense's benefit. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. They run again with Burita. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. 57 to Mike. Mike 57. Looking to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Pierre Desir. 20. And it's a touchdown for the Jets. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's a wobbler, and it's intercepted. He's got the lane, and there he goes. Pass the 20, 10, 5. 
drive, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On first down, here's Breida. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Four yards the pick up, first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Henry Anderson there on the stop. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. I know you ain't got it. Let go. 57 is right. I got you. I got you. 57 is the Here's the second and seven. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It's a gain of five. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off right around the 43. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keeper lane. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Jet first down. First down. Flush to his right. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the pro bowler, Byron Jones. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Quinnen Williams in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Twenty, ten, 
good. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker, 83 yards, as they have now chopped this lead down to three. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. So the lead shaved to two now as the kickoff is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping Chile on the other side of the ball. I said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here we go, D, get off the field. Here's Darnold rolling to his right. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. Now a timeout coming in here defensively as they stop it before the two-minute warning with 2.09 to go in the game. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now it's Donald. And that is incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Returnable for Grant. Inside of two minutes remaining in a two-point ball game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. So step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Greta. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Here's Breda. Pro Bowler C.J. Mosley, the Ravens' leading tackler last year, up to make the stop. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Out of the shotgun, Breda. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of us. 57 tonight. Mike 57. Back to throw. And Wilson has it. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 25-yard line. This is Breda. Oh, no, he lost the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Now a give coming right is Breda. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. 
So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. And they're going to get the timeout call. What a finish. We're down to four seconds to go in this football game. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So it all rests now on the right foot of Jason Sanders. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And no, wide left. It's no good. And a tough finish to this one. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And I tell you, these division games never <laughs> for the faint of heart, but they come through with a tight victory here on the road. And you find yourself.